And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. And I am the blue noob over here in the southwest corner who can't seem to uh, move his SCVs around in any sort of good way at all. Up against Lance, uh, the red Zerg up in the northeast. Um, this map, ooh, I've already forgotten the name of the map. I really should learn the name of the maps better. Um, this, uh, this, this match, <laughs> I show you guys this match for, for one reason and one reason only, and that shows, um, not only how big of a noob I am, but also what happens when I get on a losing streak. I don't bother looking at replays, um, I should be doing that, um, I just continue to play, oh, I can't believe I lost to a, a rush, let's try it again, and hopefully this time it won't end up as a, another rush. Um, and I just play sloppy, sloppy um, game, early game mechanics. I was scared there because um, I, I don't know if this is a trend you guys have noticed as well. I did notice that if I say good luck, have fun, and I get no answer back from the other player, it usually means that that player is going for some early cheese, something like a proxy bunker, proxy pylon, a zergling rush, something similar to that. Um, and they don't want to, to get to know you. They're almost ashamed of it themselves. I am going for the block off here. Uh, very, that's very important against a Zerg, especially if they go for a rush. I've never seen a build quite like this before. Uh, f what was it? 16 extractor? 15, 15 16 extractor? Um, and that's pretty much it so far. Um, no, no pool, no expansion just getting gas at this point and that's just weird and finally a spawning tool a spawning pool coming down no he canceled it um and decided to move it into the back this is something that a lot of zerg do but i've never fully understood um it, you know it kind of makes it look like they're hiding their spawning pool um as if i don't know that they're going to be getting a spawning pool at, at some point in the game um it'd be like me hiding my barracks. I just don't see the point of it. Maybe uh, some Zerg players can explain that to me. Um, maybe they want, don't want me to see the timing of it. I do have my SCV here uh, finally going in to, to look to see what's going on. Um, I don't know when that pool went down, but I do know that the extractor uh, finished way before the spawning pool. And he took all his S uh, drones off to try to harass my SCV, so uh, pretty good and uh, pretty good uh, little scouting mission for him. Um, <laughs> well worth the the hassle. And he's going for a second extractor early. I've never seen a build like this before. He's just wants so much gas. I don't know if maybe he's going for fast mutas, roaches. Um, he is scouting uh, with that Overlord scene that Tech Lab on the barracks, um, but it looks like that's all he can see on uh, on my base. Um, but he should be able to see these Reapers coming out. I do like to go for the Reapers occasionally against uh, the Zerg players, uh, simply because they might not have anything to counter it. Um, but he does have Zerglings out. A lot of players will sometimes just have the Queen out by the time uh, the Reapers get there, so I can do some heavy harassment on these drones and force them to get off the, mi uh, the minerals and the gas um, and try to take the lead in the economy. And as you can see here, I'm doing, a, once again, a, a just a, a, a terrible job at keeping track of my block off. Um, that barely qualifies here, especially against Zergs with those Banelings. They can just massacre both of these uh, buildings in just a few banelings and go right through. Uh, he's going for spine crawlers early, so we are not going to be seeing a rush. Uh, it doesn't look like from Lance. He is going for lair, so I, uh, maybe my suspicion is correct, and he is going for uh, fast mutas here. And oh, we are seeing more and more zerglings coming out as long as those spine crawlers. Creep Tumor coming up. Creep Tumor, uh, so uh, good for uh, the ground units for the Zerg players. 
you really want to get those all the way as far over to my side of the map as possible. Uh, because all the, the Zerg, I mean, almost all their attributes are, are increased when they go, when they're on creep, as opposed to when they're on, um, I don't know, what, what would you call it, non-creep? Uh, any other type of terrain. I am sending my Reapers out, just two. Uh, nothing too, too heavy here. And, of course, he did spot that with the Overlord here, so... Uh, he's fully ready. He's got the Zerglings well all the way around his minerals. He he is fully prepared for these re for this Reaper harass. He does be at spot with the Overlord, so I send them in right away. Out comes those Zerglings. I stand no chance. Even got within range of that spine crawler. Didn't take out a single Zergling. Didn't even get a shot off. Uh, just bad uh, Reaper management on my part. Not keeping him out of range of that Overlord sight. Uh, and there goes one marine. Uh, he's a he's a canary in my coal mine, I guess you could say. And here comes the the counterattack to that reaper harass. Uh, looks like 18 zerglings. That's quite a few zerglings early on. I uh, still wouldn't call it a rush. Uh, more of a, a timing attack. And as you can see, I'm sending another marine out. Uh, just so he can take a look at these Zerglings, try to talk them out of going into my base, but it just doesn't work. And uh, he does have a Baneling nest up, so we are going to see Banelings here morphing uh, to, to take out this block off. He knows that I have it. And just bad rally points. Bad rally points. Um, I do have a... a Decent block off um, for Zerglings, but not for Banelings. And once those morph and come in, I simply stand no chance. And as you can see, I've been doing horribly on my minerals. Early, this early into the game, I've got upwards of uh, 1,200 up to 1,400 minerals unspent. Um, but looks like he had a little bad micro with those Banelings. They should be in the front to blast through. Uh, as a result, he will lose a, a lot of these Zerglings. I do believe he loses all of them. Uh, these Marauders are so good, and of course he won't be able to get a good surround because I am up against the wall. So he does lose all those uh, Zerglings. I try to save... no, too late to save that uh, Supply Depot. Uh, Barrack should be fine. Other Supply Depot uh, will be repaired, but he is sending more... Uh, Zerglings in. He is going for, uh, even though it wasn't a rush, he's going for all in Zerglings right now. And just look at that. He's got 26 Zerglings out on the field. Um, I stand no chance. Um, and they're rushing right through. A little bit of bad micro. He will lose some Zerglings there, but his overwhelming force is enough to, to wipe me out here. As the reinforcements come in, uh, pretty much stand no chance at this point. As he's continuing to pump Zerglings, no, he did stop after that last uh, batch came in, uh, probably sensing that it was all over. Um, I went for the, for the tech upgrade, going for factories, trying to get some Hellions, uh, getting a reactor. I don't know what at this point in the game it's pretty much over he does go for the tech lab he doesn't want me to get any more marauders since they do so well against the zerglings and finally he does send them into my mineral line and he's ta able to take out quite a few SCVs uh, now finally getting 14 more zerglings coming out uh, just bad um, Poke players say that uh, when you lose a big hand, you go on tilt. Um, after I lose to a couple rushes in a row, and clean that last Dark Templar rush, uh, which was just a huge facepalm moment for me. I am on tilt here, and uh, just sloppy play for me. Uh, still not quite sure um, with Lance's uh, build what he was going for uh, with that early gas. He still got 900 gas this early into the game. With uh, just when when Mass Zerglings was well enough to defeat me today, um, 
so another big facepalm moment from me. Um, hopefully I can do better. Uh, and this goes to a lesson to all of you. Uh, if you're pissed off because of the last game, don't just start another one. Uh, try to try to relax a little bit. You will end up on a losing streak. As you can see, this is the third straight loss for me. Uh, just horrible gameplay from beginning to end from me. And uh, most people won't show you that uh, they're embarrassing games, but I'm not one to shy away from it. It happens to, to the best of us at times. Uh, probably not as bad as this for me, though. Uh, so I hope to see you guys next time. See you then. Have a good day.